Hi and welcome to this video. This video will show you how to use the Google AdWords Editor Keyword Grouper tool. To get started, the first thing I did was put in a bunch of keywords here. I hit the search button and then I'm going to download all 900 keywords. This is to give us an example of how to actually group keywords from a raw list. So here's our raw list of keywords here. Let me copy these, go over to AdWords Editor. I don't have a campaign made, so let me just create one real quick. We'll call it campaign number one. Now I'm going to create an ad group. And now we need to add keywords to this group. So the first thing I like to do whenever I'm going to group keywords is I simply just dump them into one group and then I can evaluate the commonalities between them. Let's keep proposed changes. And now under campaign number one in ad group number one we have 900 keywords. The question is how do we group these so it makes sense? To get started you click tools keyword grouper and this is Google's solution to how to group keywords. Before I comment on how good or bad it is let me just show you how it works. Under this ignore these words we have a text area that has an area where you can put in almost negative keywords if you will or these are keywords that will not be considered when generating common terms a lot of times these are stop words for example I have who what where when how why to for of is a now let's hit generate common terms and Google spits out a bunch of different potential keyword groupings to evaluate whether this is good or not, let's hit next. And this is an example of how Google would group our keywords. For the anniversary group, there would be 186 keywords being put in that group. Scroll down a little bit. We have a birthday group with 186 keywords, and so on. Gift ideas, baby, and then it gets more granular. So one quick tip that you can use is I like to cut these out. Then I'll go over to Excel. I'll paste these potential keyword groupings that Google spit out at us. You can put a formula in, say equals if is number search. And this formula will say look for some text within a certain cell. We'll close that, and then if it's true, we'll say has space, else doesn't. So let me explain what this formula does. It's pretty much just looking in the column A here, and it's evaluating whether or not the keyword grouping has a space in it within the keyword so gift ideas has a gift space ideas whereas birthday is just one word it doesn't have a space so it doesn't have a space and gift ideas has a space so then what I like to do is sort these Let's sort them by column B so now we have the keywords that don't have a space in them and the idea here is, I don't want to make a group with just one word in it. I want a, something a little bit more descriptive. If you want to just create one word keyword groupings, then that's fine. But the more descriptive you get, the more granular and the more logical sense your keyword list will be. So that's one good thing about the Google AdWords Editor Keyword Grouper tool is that you can actually define the groups you want to create simply by just typing them in like this is a group you know right here so let's just paste those words with two or more keywords in them hit next and then we get gift ideas 186 keywords in that group anniversary gifts birthday gifts anniversary gift birthday gift birthday ideas baskets gift baby shower gifts men and so on so to make this example short I know these aren't the perfect groupings and obviously you'd want to 
go through your list and put a little bit more time into this, but for the sake of time, I'll just hit finish. And what it does, ultimately, is it creates keyword groupings around your common terms. So, Father's Day gifts, Mother's Day gifts, baby online gifts, you know, baby items, anniversary gifts, anniversary gift. And it doesn't actually merge anniversary gifts with anniversary gift. So, you can toy around with this and check it out, but in my opinion, they could do a lot better and put a lot more effort into creating a tool that people can actually use to group keywords in a more logical manner. And there are tools out there, and actually, my tool that I've built is one of those tools, so check it out. But this is an example of how to use the Google AdWords Keyword Grouper tool. Thanks for watching.